Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. Welcome, everyone, to our latest video where we'll be exploring Mulberry Plantation, Kershaw County, South Carolina. Mulberry Plantation, also known as the James and Mary Bookin Chestnut House, is a historic plantation at 559 Santa Highway, United States Route 521 south of Cannon, South Carolina. Declared a National Historic Landmark in 2000, it is significant as the home of American Civil War chronicler Mary Bookin Chestnut, who produced some of the most important written accounts of the war from a Confederate perspective. The main house, built about 1820, is a fine example of federal period architecture. In this section, we'll be deep diving into description and history, unraveling its complexities and uncovering valuable insights. Mulberry Plantation is located about three miles south of downtown Camden and occupies more than 4,800 acres of land bordering the Waitery River. The main plantation house is located on a high point of the property, about 0.25 miles east of Sumter Highway, and is accessed via a drive from that road. An early 20th wrought iron gate, spelling Mulberry within its elements, stands across the road between brick piers. The main house is a handsome federal period brick house, stories in height, that was built about 1820, with possible design input from the noted South Carolina architect Robert Mills. The plantation has a documented history of human habitation dating back as far as about 1250 CE based on archaeological research of platform mounds found on the property. It is believed to be the site of Cafetichiqui, a major chiefdom visited by the explorer Hernando de Soto in the 16th century, and is also the location of a second archaeological site, the McDowell site. The plantation was established in the Urs by James Chestnut, and passed first to his brother John, and then to John's son, James Chestnut's sister under his stewardship, the plantation was one of the largest and most successful inland plantations in the state, growing to a maximum size of more than 12,000 acre. Mary Chestnut, the wife of James Chestnut Jr., wrote a detailed diary of the war years. Her diary, refined and published by her in the Urs, remains a major historical work of the period, chronicling the rise and fall of the Confederacy. I appreciate your time and I'm grateful for every like, comment, and share. 